Hello friends, today we are going to determine the refractive index of the material of the given prism using a spectrometer. Before starting this experiment, let us see what is the formula for obtaining the refractive index of a prism. So the formula is this. In this formula, you can see that there are two basic quantities. So A is the angle of prism and delta M is the angle of minimum deviation. So basically in this experiment, we are going to find out the angle of prism and the angle of minimum deviation. So in this way, this experiment has two parts. One is for the measurement of angle of prism and second is for the measurement of angle of minimum deviation. So here we start with the first part. For measuring the angle of prism, first we should know what is the angle of prism. So for this we take a prism. We are looking at its triangular side with vertices A, B and C. Now in this prism we have two smooth sides and one rough side and against this rough side we have this angle of prism A. So to measure the angle of prism we need a sodium lamp. We cover this sodium lamp using a wooden box in which we have a vertical orifice and we need a spectrometer. Now we are going to arrange this in a particular way so that the light coming out of sodium lamp will enter the collimator from a slit which we adjust at the beginning of the experiment. Now we take a prism in which at the bottom you can see the rough side of the prism. Next we place this prism on the prism table in such a way that the rough side is towards the telescope. For better perspective we can look at it from this angle. Now yellow sodium light comes out of the collimator and are reflected through the smooth surfaces of this prism. So now we are going to measure the location of these reflected rays. So first of all we will set this in position 1 and in the telescope you will look a yellow light slit like this. In this we will shift our telescope such that the cross wire is just above this yellow line. Now we will measure its reading. We have two vernier scales on this spectrometer. One is visible here and other is at 180 degree difference. So similarly we will set our telescope in position 2 and will measure the position of this light. After that we are going to make a table of it. So in this table we are going to write the reading we observed in the vernier scale 1 and vernier scale 2 when our telescope is in position 1 and similarly the reading of vernier scale 1 and 2 when it is in position 2. So then we are going to subtract the higher value from the lower value and will get a value of 2a which is double of the angle of prism and after dividing it by 2 we will get the angle of prism. For better accuracy we will repeat this part two more times and then we'll take a mean of all the readings to get an accurate value of angle of prism. So in this way we have measured the angle of prism. Now we are moving towards the measurement of angle of minimum deviation. So first let us understand what is the angle of minimum deviation. So this is a prism. So if a light is coming from O in a straight line it should move towards X but because of the prism it deviates and reaches a point Y. So in this way if I extrapolate this line so I get an angle of deviation at a particular angle of incidence I. So when we plot a curve between the angle of incidence and the angle of deviation we find that as we increase the angle of incidence angle of deviation first decreases and then increases when the angle of deviation is minimum is known as the angle of minimum deviation which depends upon the angle of incidence to measure this quantity first we are coming back to our setup in which we are going to measure the position of the light straight from the collimator coming to the telescope so we can observe its positions uh, in vernier scale 1 and vernier scale 2. 
Now we are going to place our prism at the center of this prism table so that the rough side is facing towards us and we will observe that the yellow light is coming through the collimator and deviating because of this prism. Now we rotate our telescope and set it to measure the position of this light but we need to measure the angle of minimum deviation for this. If we look at it carefully you will find that here the prism is placed like this and the light is coming from position O and deviated to position Y. In this position the angle of incidence is quite small and if we look at plot of angle of incidence and angle of minimum deviation then we can imagine that we are somewhere in this region where the angle of incidence is small. In order to increase the angle of incidence when the light source is fixed we need to rotate our prism in this direction. So we will rotate our prism table as we will move we will observe that in the telescope the light moves to a position and then comes back. So in other words we can say the angle of minimum deviation decreases and then start increasing again. So in this process we will stop our prism table at the position when light starts moving back. Then set the cross wire on this light and measure its position in the vernier scale 1 and 2. Now we will make another table of it in which first we have measured the position of direct ray and we can write its reading observed from vernier scale 1 and 2. After that we have measured the position of deviated ray. So we will also write its position measured through vernier scale 1 and 2 and then we will find out its difference which is your angle of minimum deviation. For better accuracy we can change the position of vernier scales and then repeat this experiment two more times. After that we will take average of all the values observed in this experiment and will get the angle of minimum deviation. In two parts of this experiment we have gathered the angle of prism and the angle of minimum deviation and now using this formula we can calculate the refractive index in this experiment. Thanks for watching. If you like this video please like and share this video. You can also support us by donating. All the bank details are given in the description. Keep supporting and have a good day.